What's going on everybody? Top 10 Pokemon here. Today I will be doing a video on some purchases that I've made and also some things that I have for sale. Uh, I felt quite lazy today. Did not feel like doing the dual camera thing. So we're just going to be doing this view right here. So as you can see, I always like to showcase some of the new Funko Pops. Anything you see in the background is usually always from the misses, you know, from the buff Pokemon, from the Funko Pops to the beautiful Gyarados Charizard artwork. It's all from her. Uh, but recently she got me a Dark Side Funko Pop from the Snyder Cut of the Justice League. So I'd like to get that in like the black suit Superman. That'd be pretty awesome. Uh, she got me a Dundee Award Funko Pop. I didn't know this existed. So that's pretty funny. And also a uh, Flash Funko Pop. I love everything superheroes. And you can also see I got a couple of new Pikachus up there, a Raichu, a couple of the guys from South Park. This one right here is the uh, Fun with Weapons episode where Stan has the... Uh, well, not, those aren't nunchucks. I'm not sure what those are. And then the episode where everything turns to Jersey with the Jersey Kyle there. Pretty funny. And over here we have uh, Lloyd Christmas from Dumb and Dumber and then Joey Tribbiani from Friends. So she also got me this. This is a bit of awesome. It's a Super Saiyan Pikachu. I know. You want one, right? I mean, who doesn't? Look at that. It's even got the little Kamehameha wave in there. So this is, that's just fantastic. That's gonna go in the background of my videos for sure. Folks, I bought some modern product from the store recently, uh, including some Fusion Strike packs, which I pulled absolutely nothing from. Uh, I know you're surprised. Top 10 Pokemon didn't pull anything. Yeah, big shocker there. But here are some code cards for free. So I'm not sure if it's either just my dumb luck or if the pull rate for that set is really hard. I don't know. I don't really care. And I don't really think I'm gonna be buying any more of these Fusion Strike Packs. But I did pick up some of these Generations collection boxes. Uh, this one, of course, is the Pikachu V Union. I do love the artwork of all the Pikachus. That's awesome. I'm not sure how I feel about V Union cards in general, but that is definitely an awesome illustration of all those. I believe there's 25 Pikachus on there. And uh, of course, it comes with the Celebrations Packs. And I even see a Darkness Ablaze and Battle Styles back there. So yeah, that's a pretty cool box. I always try to pick up these boxes in Modern Product as like rainy day cards. And I also got a few more Celebrations boxes here is the Lance's Charizard V box. The Zacian Level X promo box. And it's also got the Surfing Pikachu up there, the little pin. That's pretty awesome. I see a Chilling Rain pack sitting back there. That's pretty sweet. And I also got this. I'm probably going to be gifting this to my daughter for her birthday because she loves Evolution and she loves Sylveon. But this is a Dark Sylveon V collection box. Looks like he got two Celebrations packs and two other packs back there. I can't tell what those are. And then, of course, the Dark Sylveon V promo in the Jumbo one, too. So that's pretty awesome right there. I'm going to... And this thing came up on walmart.com. It's an Urshifu VMAX Premium Collection Box. There's actually two of these. I was only able to get my hands on one of them. But this thing was 20 bucks. I thought, man, that is quite a deal there. I think you get like, what, 10 packs? Eight, 10 packs in there, plus all those promos. That's not a bad deal, even for battle styles. 20 bucks for this whole thing. Not too shabby at all. All right, folks, let me show you a couple of cards that I absolutely stole this week. And I don't mean literally, of course, I, I mean price-wise. I got my hands on a Dark Slow King PSA 10. Uh, this is an unlimited Slow King, but this is such an awesome illustration. Neo Destiny has some of the best art in the hobby. Uh, I got this card, I think for like $40. $40, that is absolutely dirt cheap. It looks fantastic. Uh, I, I collect Slow King cards. I collect Magmar cards, of course, and I collect Moltres cards. So this is one. Uh, Slow King card I can add to my collection for 40 bucks. I mean can't be beat, right? I also got two of these Miracle Energy Hollows from Neo Destiny as well. These are also unlimited. It's like a pop of, I don't know, 22 PSA 10s. I picked up one of them. I forget which one. I think it was this one from TCA Gaming and I got a pretty good deal on it. And then I absolutely stole this one. I think I got it for less than a hundred dollars. And I was so happy that the seller sent it to me. He could have been a real a-hole and, you know, relisted it or refused to send it, but he did send it to me. So I appreciate it. If you're watching this and you sent top 10 Pokemon, a Neo Destiny PSA 10 uh, Miracle Energy, I appreciate you sticking to it or sticking to the auction results. But yeah, I picked up these two guys and I feel like this one in particular was an absolute steal. 
And then I got this little beauty right here. This is the Charizard Hollow from Legendary Treasures. Uh, I, I do like the, the straight line hollow. I'm not sure what kind of hollow pattern that is, but it's pretty awesome. The Cosmos Hollow of this card is really insane to get your hands on, especially in a PSA 10. So this one is the, of course, less expensive version. But still, this is like a population of a little over 100. I think 120 something. I don't know. I'll put up on the screen here exactly how many is in the pop report but i got it for like 500 dollars. i thought that was an insanely good deal considering this set is almost nine years old so i was really happy to really happy with this purchase right here it looks great so yeah all right folks i have a couple of psa 9 watsy hollows to show you starting out with this dark machamp uh these cards are fantastic these are from my personal collection uh this card looks great on the front there very well centered um it's kind of hard to see if there's any print lines or not, but I think the reason this one got a nine is because there's a mark down there on that corner. So I believe this could never actually get a 10, but it is definitely a nice PSA nine. I'm gonna have this for sale on my eBay store, along with a few other cards if you're interested. Uh, if you're interested in buying this card off of eBay, you know, via PayPal, Venmo, Cash App, send me an email or reach out to me on Instagram at TTP Collectibles, and I will take 10% off the listed price on eBay. And I always list my cards lowest on eBay. So come check that out if you're interested in the Dark Machamp. Up next, also from Team Rocket Set, is this beautiful Dark Doug Trio, uh, first edition PSA 9. Um, trying to think, maybe there might be a print line on here. I'm not sure, it's hard to tell. Uh, with this card because the yeah, there we go i mean the front looks really nice i can't tell right now do you might be like a print line coming down i'm not sure let's take a look at the back i want to give you guys a really good look at these in case you were interested yeah it must be on the back here you got a couple of white dots along the edges there so yeah another psa 9 first edition card for sale check it out and continuing on we have a couple of neo genesis first edition psa 9 hollows I love Neo Genesis, one of my favorite sets of all time. Here is a PSA 9 at Jumpluff Hollow. Uh, this card and the next card I'm going to show you are very, very tough to get in the PSA 10. And you got to love the Neo series, especially Neo Genesis, because the backs are always so super clean. Look at those edges. Flawless. Beautifully centered card. So this must be something on the front here. I'm not sure. It's really hard to tell. Can you guys see anything? I don't know. I feel like this is a really strong card, but anyway, this is for sale. Let me know if you're interested in it. And then last but not least, we have this Azumarill First Edition Hollow PSA 9 from Neo Genesis as well. Just such a beautiful hollow foil. Look at all that shimmer. I love it. Um, I think the reason this one got the 9 is you can see right there, there's like two very small print lines on the right side. You got to angle it perfectly to see. I think I thought I had it there, but yeah. There's a couple of print lines, very small, but uh, overall this card is very strong. I mean, you got perfect centering on the front there. Back looks very nice. It's a little bit off-centered, shifted to the right a bit, but like I said before, the edges are just super duper clean on this card, as are most of these Neo cards. Yeah, very well centered on the front. I think that print line on the front there must be why it got the nine, but a PSA 10 of this card is very expensive. I think there's like a population of a little bit over 30 PSA 10s. So yeah, tough card to get in a PSA 10, but here is a PSA 9 for sale if you're interested. Thank you all for checking out my video. I really appreciate it. Let me know if you're interested in any of these cards right here. I will have them listed on eBay. Use the link in the description. It'll take you right to my eBay store. And if you're wanting to make a deal off of eBay, I'll take 10% off. If you want to go via PayPal or something like that, just let me know. Shoot me an email. Hit me up on Instagram. Thank you for checking out my video, folks. Sorry I couldn't show you my pretty face. I just wasn't in the mood to set up all that. But I will see you all soon for my auctions of the week video. So check that out and I will see you then.